Afternoon, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. You might hear some clunking in the background. I got my dryer going. Here we have a view of the current uh, storm, which has been downgraded from a, a Category 4 hurricane to a tropical storm, Ian. And it's off the coast of uh, uh, Florida. Um, there's been evacuations uh, recently declared. They're expecting it to gain strength as it goes out there over the uh, Atlantic Ocean. This here is the latest from the National Weather Service. After crossing the Florida Peninsula, the center of Ian has emerged into the western Atlantic Ocean. The storm is expected to re-strengthen into a hurricane before making another landfall along the coast of South Carolina. Hurricane warnings have been issued for the entire coast of South Carolina. Life-threatening storm surge damaging hurricane force winds and flooding are possible. And let's see what happens. Synopsis. Okay. Maximum sustained winds at 60 kT, which is knots per hour or miles per hour, gusts of 75 knots per hour. Iron will strengthen to a hurricane uh, it gives the latitude and everything. It's expected to move inland Friday morning, weaken to a tropical storm. And in the evening of Friday, weaken to an extra tropical slight cyclone. Saturday morning to Sunday evening, it will dissipate. Sunday morning, winds and seas will diminish, excuse me, across the region Saturday into Sunday. Now, between 63 and 74 knots per hour, or miles per hour, it is strong enough to send loose objects, garbage cans, patio, fur patio furniture, flying. They have another map here showing wind probability. Now, this here is rainfall potential just for today. Um, yeah, let's see, light green, dark green. Um, maybe four to six inches, um, six inches in the yellow. Um, let me bring this up here. Yeah, there's a couple little spots up over here in Virginia, anywhere from uh, maybe six to ten inches of rain expected. Charleston, um, South Carolina. Let's see, between six to four inches it looks like and this is just for today let me pull it over so you can see that today and tonight areas of flash flooding from today until sunday october 2nd there is a danger of life-threatening storm surge through friday along the coast of northeast florida georgia and South Carolina. Residents in these areas should follow any advice given by local officials. Hurricane force winds are expected, expected across South Carolina coast beginning early Friday, where hurricane warning has been issued. Hurricane conditions are possible by tonight along the coast of northeastern Florida and Georgia, where hurricane watch is in effect. Preparations should be rushed to completion since tropical storm force winds will begin well before the center approaches the coast. Ongoing major to record river flooding will continue across portions of central Florida with considerable flooding in northern Florida. Uh, northern Florida. Excuse me, I'm really tongue-tied today. Considerable flash and urban flooding is expected across coastal portions of northeastern Florida through Friday. Local significant flooding in southeastern Georgia and eastern South Carolina is expected through the end of the week. You guys be safe. Be prepared. Now here they have the direction of the current weather. The cone contains the probable path of the storm center but does not show the size of the storm. Hazard conditions can occur outside the cone. Now here we got 8 a.m. Friday, tomorrow, 
Um, I can't really tell what that is. Um, Friday, Saturday, and Saturday. All the way up there to Kentucky and West Virginia and Virginia on Saturday. And uh, North Carolina, it looks like. Here we have in pink storm surge areas uh, from the Palm Coast, Jacksonville, um, North Charleston, Mount Pleasant, uh, Wilmington, Jacksonville, and pretty darn close to Virginia Beach, it looks like. I wonder if I can make that bigger for you. Now bring it back down here. Right now they're working on evacuating um, nursing homes in an area there by Orlando, I believe it was, um, that was considered a hurricane safe zone C. A quick review, this is where it's at now. Initially the sheriff um, said there was probably hundreds to thousands of people dead. But right now they're saying that the Charlotte County Commissioner confirmed there are six confirmed fatalities in the county. Uh, search and rescue operations are ongoing. Here's an image of emergency evacuations underway at Avanti in Orlando, Florida. Now this was five hours ago. Winds appear to be picking up as crews work quickly to safely evacuate Avanti in Orlando nursing home. A seventh death was previously confirmed in Volusia County. Originally two and a half million people were without power. Here's an image of a power line that was down. Another image at one of the hotels, water creeping up to the first floor of our hotel. Looks like the inside of the Titanic cars are fully underwater. More than 500 people have been rescued in Charlotte and Lee County since rescue operations began Thursday morning. There have been about 250 people rescued so far in Orlando, officials said. The city received 14 inches of rain from the storm. Two pets have also been rescued by the Coast Guard. Search and rescue teams from Ohio, Indiana, and Texas are searching and surveying the Tampa Bay Area. Two teams from Virginia are in Punta Gorda. Ian is expected to be at least a Category 1 hurricane with 75 mile an hour winds when it makes landfall in its third landfall near north of Charleston, South Carolina Friday and in the late evening or early afternoon. Ian currently is a high-end tropical storm with winds up to 70 miles an hour. It is moving off the east central coast of Florida and supposedly it was about 40 miles northeast of Cape Canaveral. The storm is forecast to regain hurricane strength in the next 12 hours. Flagler County, Florida, residents of the Woodlands neighborhood known as Hurricane Evacuation Zone C, below Mobile Home Park, Flagler Beach Polo Club West, um, below Woods, Seaside Landing, um, Flagger Beach Polo Club, um, as well as the other evacuation areas off of Lambert Avenue and Palm Drive, known as Hurricane Evacuation Zone B, should leave immediately, according to county officials um, that they announced today. We urge residents in these areas to leave the area due to updated expectations of a significant flooding of your neighborhood streets with the potential to impact your homes. Emergency Management Director Jonathan Lord said. Additionally, as the flood progresses, it is possible that emergency vehicles will no longer have access to your neighborhood. Residents utilizing shelters are encouraged to bring their own bedding. Single, twin-size, inflatable mattresses are preferred because of space limits. This here is an image of the causeway that was closed because it failed the... Uh, yeah, it, it's not there. Yeah, a lot of damage. All residents should bring, when you go to the shelters, five-day supply of, of medication, 
medical supplies and equipment, sleeping bags, pillows, and blankets, an extra charger and battery for electronics, headphones for music devices. Here's an image of the utility trucks heading out this morning. Yeah, these guys, search and rescue, the fire department, they're all heroes. This here is an image of cement um, blocks of some sort that were pushed up the street from the storm surge when Ian initially made landfall. Three blocks. Also, if you go to the shelter, bring snacks and comfort foods. Meals will be served. Important documents, including identification, medical history, and insurance. Evidently, Biden is sending FEMA to the area um, tomorrow, Friday. According to the uh, Florida Public Utilities Company, uh, they had restored sometime earlier this afternoon power to about 700,000 customers. Some customers will face prolonged outages because of portions of the electrical system in southwest Florida will need to be rebuilt rather than repaired. This here's an image of the storm surge. Here we have an image, a Twitter post that says dog rescued from sailboat in Fort Myers. He went back to get a cat too and then someone said something about there was a rabbit. I don't know if that was true or not. There he is bringing the dog from the boat to shore and another view of the dog that was rescued. I believe this is Fort Myer with the storm surge. They're probably going to say this hurricane was the worst in history. The Sanibel Causeway was lost. Another image of all the yachts and boats there in Fort Myer, Florida. Yeah, it's just devastating. In South Carolina, Greenville County Schools will have an e-learning day Friday, September 30th. And office buildings will be closed to the public and all activities, including athletic events and field trips, are canceled. The South Carolina Department of Education say that sustained winds of 30 miles an hour or greater or frequent wind gusts exceeding 40 miles an hour uh, are predicted and that's why they're closing the schools. They're also expecting power outages due to downed trees and power lines which could further inhibit it, safe travel and building operations tomorrow. So there's not going to be any excuses even if the power goes out not to get your e-learning assignments done. <laughs> you're still going to be required to get those assignments done. Here we have an image of airplanes at the North Perry Airport in Pembroke Pines, Florida. Yeah, look at that. Horrible. Anderson School District number five will also be observing an e-learning day tomorrow, Friday, September 30th and resume normal operations next week. This here is the boats that were being pushed by the um, water surge up a street. Another Twitter post from Naples Fire Department 1. These crews have been working around the clock and they had a video that was posted on Twitter that they had posted on Facebook. Yeah, these guys are heroes. Look how deep that water got, the uh, storm surge got there in the uh, fire department, in the fire station. Yeah, they were getting in their trucks to go somewhere flamingos that were put into um, bathrooms to be safe during the storm. Another image of the flamingos. Yep, they had food and it looks like water. This man went in the water during the tidal surge to rescue this cat. Another hero. Mike Ross, 29, after rescuing a cat from floodwaters of Hurricane Ian. Yeah, just look at the those eyes of that poor kitty. He looks so sad. A screen capture of the devastation there at Fort Myer. Another screen screen capture and another one. Yeah, yeah. Million dollar boats. Yep, destroyed. Sending prayers to everyone there. If they tell you to evacuate, evacuate. Check on family there. Uh, do what you can. Don't forget the pets. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I keep telling you, always be prepared for a disaster. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later.
God bless you. Bye.